morning, everyone. Welcome back to another video. If you guys are new here, my name is Jenna and I have a fashion and lifestyle channel. Today we are doing a couple days of my life vlog. If it's long enough today, cause I feel like I have so much stuff going on, then we'll just make it a day in my life. But for right now, this vlog will continue over a couple days. So I'm at home right now, working from home and it's 11 o'clock. So it's almost lunchtime and I have a ton of stuff to do during my lunch. I have to go to the post office and drop off Poshmark orders. I've already sold a few things, which is fantastic. It makes me feel so good that I'm getting this stuff out. And then I'm gonna go to the cruise store. I also have to place an Amazon order and one other thing. Oh, my boyfriend got me a, so I actually went to start this vlog last night and it was my birthday. So I turned 27 for those of you who are new. And I went to Au Cheval with my boyfriend for dinner and it was the most amazing burger ever. But I sat down and did like a whole unboxing, started the vlog and then I was like, why am I vlogging at night in the kitchen? And I just like didn't want to start it off that way. So I'm starting it today instead. And where was I going with this? <laughs> okay, I have no idea. But I am starting the vlog today instead. So why is my eyebrow sticking straight up? Anyway, I have a couple of things to show you guys that came yesterday that I vlogged yesterday. But obviously, since that is never going to be uploaded, I will unbox that stuff with you guys right now. And probably wear, if not all of it, then some of it. So I'm excited to show you guys. Make sure you are subscribed because I would absolutely love to have you on my channel. And I have a bunch of hauls coming this month, so I'm excited to share those with you. I actually have to film a Princess Polly one today, but I don't know if the light is gonna hold out. So we'll see, um, but that is on the agenda. So lots going on and I will take you guys around to everything. I cannot tell you guys how excited I am to have artwork in the background now, instead of me just like sitting here vlogging with blank prison walls. <laughs> Um, so I have the stuff from Bandier that I am going to unbox with you. We'll start with the set. So I am posting for them on Instagram and they sent their all access workout set, which I have this in Navy. And I don't know that I've mentioned it here yet, but I did do a poll on my Instagram stories and I'm looking to do a workout set refresh in my wardrobe just because some of the waistbands of my leggings and things have stretched and... I wanna just get like really good quality stuff that's gonna last for a very long time. I haven't owned those sets for like too long. So I'm kind of annoyed that they're a little bit misshapen, especially since like I wasn't really going to the gym that much last year. So I feel like they should definitely be fine and they're not. So we are gonna sell those and then I'll swap them out for some new stuff, but I'm not really sure because I haven't had time to look yet to see what I wanna pick up. So this is a good start because I have this set and I will be keeping it because I love it. It has this waistband on it that is very like I don't know it's sexual and without making you feel uncomfortable obviously you want to be able to have some give when you're working out and then this is just the matching like very traditional sports bra and then it has a cute little cutout in the back so love this set already so I know I will get tons of use out of that and then this is something that I am literally beaming about because I'm so excited about these I can't believe that I own these because I just love them so much, but um, what's it called? New Balance is doing a collaboration with Bandier. So these are specific to Bandier and they are 2002 R's, stunning colorway. They're like white, cream, black, and then they have some brown accents. So these are gonna fit perfectly into my wardrobe. And then they have this tiny little pink detail, which pink is my favorite color. These are my most comfortable New Balance sneakers and possibly aside from my on cloud sneakers, my most comfortable sneakers period. And I can't believe that I own these in this color now. Like I love my green ones so much that I try not to wear them every single day because I don't want to neglect my other shoes. But like the fact that I have these now too, I'm like, I will only be wearing 2002 R's for the rest of my life. But no, I'm just kidding. I do love them for a lifestyle shoe and I think they look really cool, but they're a little bit more, I don't know. I feel like my 530s are a little bit more like dad sneaker, whereas these are a little bit slimmer. They're definitely still a dad sneaker, but on the more minimal side. So absolutely love these. Thank you so much to New Balance for sending this stuff over. I feel like, the, I mean, not New Balance, Bandier. 
Um, I feel like there was one other thing that I got in last night, but I cannot remember what it is. So I might have to go back and look at my video from last night and let you guys know. But I'm gonna start to get ready because it is 12, it's almost 12. I think it's like, I have no idea where my watch is. Normally I know exactly what time it is. Oh, it's 12.04. So lunch has started and I have to do a bunch of errands. So the cruise store I'm going to because my boyfriend's mom bought me sunglasses for Christmas and she was like, I literally had no idea which ones to get you. So I picked a really fun pair and I, I'm gonna go to the store to see if there is any other pair that I would wanna pick out because I love crew and I walk past the store all the time and I've seen their styles on other people and I'm like, those are such cool sunglasses. So I just wanna make sure that these are definitely the style that I wanna keep. And then I have to go ship my Poshmark order. So I'm gonna link my Poshmark for you guys because there are about 30 new things that I posted on there and a lot of it's still available. <laughs> I'm like, can you guys please just like give me offers and I will give you guys the stuff for dirt cheap because I just want to get it out. So I'll leave that in the description for you guys, but I'm going to get dressed quickly, show you guys my outfit and um, pack my bags so that we can get all the stuff done. You wanna come say hi? Come here. Come say hi. Honey. Up. Come here. Come on. <laughs> say hello. Say hi. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Looking off all of my Laneige. Hello. Hmm. Okay. We're back from all of the errands that I needed to run today and I went to the cruise store and they informed me that since this gift was bought in October that I cannot exchange it, which doesn't really make sense to me. A lot of brands do have like an honor period where they'll extend a return for anything that was like gifted over the holiday season into January, but they, I don't know. I don't think they do that, but I'm gonna email their customer service anyway, just in case. And then I also went over to Aritzia and I exhausted my gift cards. So I had a little bit left over from the store credit and then I had a gift card from my parents for Christmas. So I'm gonna show you guys what I picked up. We have a nice thick pile here. It's mainly just because, well, you guys will see. So I wanted to pick up these gloves because I saw them in a different color and didn't see black. I wanted to get black because all of my coats are black, but. They're just plain knitted gloves. They have the little texting um, pads on them for when I'm obviously walking around and need to use my phone, if I'm like looking up directions and things like that. And I just thought that they were a good simple purchase and they're $40, so I thought that that was a good price also. And I have, the only other gloves that I have are like fluffy mittens, which are really good for the winter, but they don't have the finger pad thing, so. I also got this beanie and I'm kind of kicking myself because this one is actually brown and the other one I got is not very brown. So I think I want to keep this one instead and I ripped the tags off of the other one and Aritzia had a sign in there saying that everything is final price, not even just sale stuff. It just said like everything is like final price period. So. I don't know, this one was a little bit more of a warmer tone than the other one. I wish I saw this when I was buying the one that I now need to sell on Poshmark or something. I look like, I look like an idiot with this little tab here. Um, but you guys get the idea. I got a brown hat. I thought it would look cute with um, like all black. And then we also got, this was like a last minute purchase that I maybe didn't need, especially since I ended up owing $41 after my gift cards and this was for 45, so I probably didn't need this, but I wanted to try it out because um, I mentioned I'm doing a little refresh of my workout clothes and I have the Aritzia um, jumpsuit and I really love the material, so I picked up this V-neck sports bra. I just thought it'd be nice with um, some of my black leggings to have an extra sports bra because I have so many pairs of black leggings but not really black sports bras, so I just grabbed this one because I thought it'd be very flattering and for like low impact stuff, 
As you guys know, I have back issues, so I don't really do anything hardcore. So the most I do is like jogging and I don't think I should be jogging right now. So if I'm walking or doing like a Pilates circuit, then that sports bra would be perfect. I feel like this is also just a really good piece to lounge around in because it's so buttery soft. I think this is the butter collection. Yeah, TNA butter. It's light support, sweat wicking. Feels like a second skin. I'm sold. And then the last thing is another lounge set. So you guys have probably seen me exhaust the use out of my gray one. And so I just picked up the exact same set in black. I was hesitant about getting black because um, any black sweats that I've had besides my brunette the label sweats have washed out. So I was like, why would I get an entire set if it's just gonna wash out every time I wear it or wash out more every time I wear it. But um, Amanda has the black set and she said that it doesn't wash out. So I'm very excited, probably gonna wear that later. Right now I am going to make a quesadilla. Where else did I go today? I went to the post office to drop off some Poshmark orders. So very productive day. I left after I signed off from work. So it was a little bit later in the afternoon than I would have liked, but I feel like that was the most practical. So I'm gonna put all this stuff away and then do a couple of things on my computer. I have some emails to send and then we're gonna make a quesadilla for dinner, which I'm very excited about. I have that lemon chicken that I made at the beginning of the week. Oh my gosh, no, that was last week. That might not be fresh anymore. <laughs> like, I don't know if I should be eating that. And then later tonight, I do want to go to the gym, but I don't know. I don't like walking there by myself and I don't think my boyfriend can go tonight. So I'm like, mm, do we go or do we just do Pilates in the living room? Because Pilates in the living room sounds a lot better to me, but I'm paying for a gym membership, so I can't be doing that. I don't know. I'm indecisive right now. We will figure this out a little bit later. So I just got dressed to go to the gym and I'm wearing the Aritzia sports bra, so I wanted to show it to you guys. I probably should have gotten this in a small, but I just kind of underestimated the size. Um, so this is an extra small, it kind of like just fits, um, but I probably would get a small going forward. It's very, very comfortable still, even though it's a little bit small on me and I can't return it anyway, so it's fine. <laughs> Um, and then these are the leggings that I got in the mail and they fit. These are the ones from Bandier, by the way. This is their all access set. And this band that goes across here, guys, I swear, I dust my mirror like every other day and it's still dusty. I have no idea what's going on. Um, but yeah, this band really just like keeps everything in and it sits perfectly on my waist, which I love. And the material is also buttery soft without being see-through, which is absolutely amazing. So um, yeah, this is gonna be my workout outfit. I'm gonna throw the Aritzia sweat set over the top of this and then a coat and just throw everything in my locker once I get there. But I went with my New Balance 2002 R's because I'm gonna do something very like not chill, but I'm not gonna do like a ton of cardio because I'm still trying to protect my back. So if anything, I'll do some walking just to warm up, but at the same time, my knee is also bothering me on this leg. So I think I might just do the Pilates workout because it's a really good burn for your muscles, but it does not, it's not like hard on your body. So I think that's what I'm gonna end up doing. And this is the outfit that I'm gonna wear. Good morning, you guys. I have a lot going on right now. It's around 11 a.m. I feel like I've been starting vlogging in the mornings like so late, but this is just the reality. I am packing to go home for a couple of days and I'm just gonna work from home there. And I just got off of a meeting. I have another meeting at one and I'm trying to go home in between. I don't really have enough time to do that, but we're gonna try it anyway. And I'll just um, dial into the meeting while I'm on the train, but I am packing to go home. I'm gonna bring some Poshmark stuff because my sister was very generous to offer to house the stuff at home. And then when I sell the things, she will ship them for me and then I'll give her like a percentage because I feel bad. Um, and then I'm also like bringing home other stuff to wear as well as these pajamas that I can't bring to the laundry ladies because they can't be thrown in the dryer and they don't do like hang drying there. And I'm not dry cleaning my pajamas. So I'm doing all of this right now. I have a very small pile of things that I'm bringing home 
but all of it is very necessary. It's raining in New York City today, so I'm not too happy about that, but I feel like I have a good amount of sneakers that I can wear when it's raining like this. And yeah, so I woke up to my roommate getting me a marzipan latte from Maman. She said it was my belated birthday latte, but I hadn't been home in the mornings when she was here to receive it. So that was super nice of her. Such a good surprise. She also got me a croissant. Knows me too well or unpredictable. <laughs> Probably a little bit of both. But yeah, so I have a Princess Polly haul that I have to film, but I don't know if I'll be able to get it done before I leave because I have to continue answering emails and stuff before like the very last second that I need to go to the train station. And what else? I don't know. I feel like I'm just going to start throwing stuff in my suitcase, which is when it gets really heavy and I get annoyed traveling home with like a lot of stuff. So we'll see how this goes. I'm going to try to be organized with it and get some work done before I leave. I'm obviously wearing my Ritzia sweat set that I had on or that I bought yesterday. You guys, these are the best things ever. I hate to be the person to tell you that you need a $110 sweat set in your life, but I fully recommend these. Actually, I don't even know if it's a hundred and it might be like a little bit more than that. I think I threw out the tags, but I think the bottoms are 80 and the top is 60, which would make it 140, which is actually a lot of money. But when I tell you guys I wear this stuff to death, I just bought this yesterday. I already have it on. I slept in it, even though I probably shouldn't admit that. So highly recommend. And me and my roommate were talking about Aritzia this morning and we we're like, it makes me so happy that so many people shop there because I'm like, they're good quality wardrobe basics. And it's like, I feel like Americans don't really do that. They are very trend driven and this is getting really deep, but it's just like one of those stores where I'm happy to own something from Aritzia, even though Aritzia is so popular because they're just really good quality stuff. And it's like, I can't say anything bad about them, which is wild because I feel like I could always find some, everyone can always find something to complain about, but I really do love them so much. And I have been buying a few pieces from them because I got a gift card and it's like normally I wouldn't spend my money there because it's a little bit more expensive, but like, why not buy something that's a little bit higher quality and just have less? I mean, that's what I'm trying to do especially now that I'm getting like a little bit older, I just want to spend my money in a smarter way. So yeah, deep morning conversations with Jenna over here. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna finish packing and then we'll see what I can get to before I have to leave for the train. office we got there with 10 minutes to spare and there was one other person online which was fantastic and then we had a nice walk back up here I currently need to edit a couple of YouTube videos and then change the sheets on my bed because right now we have little Christmas pillowcases and as much as I love these I can't have this on my bed right now but the problem is that I don't have full sets of sheets so when I was home we grabbed some sheets. So these are supposed to be like a very French country style vibe. Um, they're from this brand, Rachel Zoe, and they're 100% cotton, which is great. And I'm gonna put those on right now because I think it would look very nice with the white and the tan or whatever color that is. And then I picked up a second set of pillowcases because I wanna change those more often than the sheets and I don't have I don't know, for some reason, the pillowcases always go missing in my sheet sets. That's why these are on here right now. So then I also picked up this very, very soft set of white ones, and they surprisingly didn't have that much stock, but they had two things of which I would have wanted to get. So it ended up working out, and I think both of these cost me 55 so not too bad, and I'm kind of glad I didn't get some off of Amazon. So I'm going to put these sheets on right now, change out the ones that are currently up here <laughs> because we have people coming over and I need my room to look really, really good because I have a weird complex about that. <laughs> 
Good morning, everyone. We are bright-eyed and bushy-tailed at 8 a.m. I went out last night for Amanda's birthday and we went to Peachy's. I didn't take any video clips because I am terrible when it comes to like being out with a big group of people and remembering to vlog. So I don't have any clips from that, but it was very fun. Really cool cocktails. Mine had whipped cream on it, which I was not expecting, but it was very, very good. And then I went back at like 12.30ish because I had to be up super early. Sorry, the lighting's a little janky. Um, and now I'm headed to the subway because I'm going up to West Village to meet Avery to shoot. So I have some layers on. I meant to bring hand warmers because I have a set that I accidentally brought back from my ski trip. And me and Avery always say that we need hand warmers when we're shooting outside when it's really, really cold because our hands are obviously always out. So I'm so sad because I forgot them and we've been talking about this forever. So I will bring them next time, but it's gonna take me about 20 minutes to get up there and then we will do some winter outfit inspo. We are in West Village with our coffees and we have hand warmers in our pockets that I forgot that I had in my bag. I thought I forgot them completely. And we're just gonna do our last outfit before we continue on with the rest of our Sunday. But I can't really show you anything. So I'm gonna try to do an outfit check. Like if I could put my phone set down somewhere. Yeah. And we could do a little rundown. Yes. But we'll get our pictures. Well, let me slow. Yeah. We'll find some place and show you guys. Okay guys, alpha check. We have a charcoal, sorry, just not <laughs> <like you. laughs> um, Charcoal bodysuit. These jeans are from charcoal also, actually. We have some high top platform converse. And then this jacket is Princess Polly. A double flap, Ray-Ban sunglasses. I feel like that was the longest rundown ever. And my hand warmer. Cute. <laughs> okay, my sweater's H&M. My jeans are mother. I just got them, I love them. Mm -hmm. And then my boots are Jonak. Um, hat is Zara. Bag is Chloe. Cute. Coffee Hi. is Cafe Katsan. Yeah. <laughs> So I am back from running around all morning. I basically left Avery and went down to Soho and me and my boyfriend went to church. And then we went to the Fiat Cafe afterwards, which was amazing. I got a bacon, egg and cheese sandwich on a ciabatta roll and it was 10 out of 10. That is a really, really good hole in the wall cafe that you guys need to go to when you are in Soho. Do not go to Jack's Way Frida, please. <laughs> if you learn one thing from my channel, just, don't go to Jack's Wife Frida unless you're desperate and they have an open table and you have to eat or you'll collapse because it's just not, I don't know. I've never eaten there and it's mainly just because of it being like packed all the time and there's always so many tourists around there. So I can't like fully vouch for it, but I know that Fiat Cafe is a nice little place that you guys would absolutely love. The food is amazing. It's run by like this one lady who is always, always there and I just love smaller businesses like that. So definitely check them out. But I just filmed my Princess Polly haul. The rack is behind me. The light was going in and out the whole time. So I'm gonna check the footage to see what it looks like because I think I was also like rambling on a painful amount in terms of like speaking really fast, which I try really hard not to do. But I feel like when I get excited, I just <laughs> kind of like take it and run with it. But I'm gonna sit on the couch and do a bunch of editing now because I have some vlogs that I need to edit this video, and then some reels that I wanna post on Instagram. I'm just gonna be doing some of that admin work. I have a couple of emails to answer and invoices and things like that, so. And for some reason, everyone is beeping their heads off today. Like this never happens. And I honestly wanna go over and see what's going on because this guy's been going off. Like he beeped five times in my video and I'm gonna to have to like cut it all out, but. Um, Anyway, off on a tangent as per usual, but I'm gonna throw a YouTube video on and then I'm gonna edit my own videos so that I can post them ASAP. Okay, it looks like I've been sleeping and I kind of did. I fell asleep for like 20 minutes, which I never do. I never take naps, but I got my 
haul filmed and I didn't do the cutaways yet. And I was just like, let me take a break. I put on Emily in Paris, was continuously disappointed. I don't know why I'm surprised. That show is just not for me. I just think the outfits are, <laughs> you guys, I didn't mean to like turn this into an Emily in Paris roast, but the outfits are just tacky. And it's probably because all I wear is like black and nude and gray and beige. So I get that. Some people like to wear color and rhinestones and like seek. I was just like, this is so bad. And I don't know why I was expecting something else, but I was like, let me just see if it's better than the last two seasons. And I watched like an episode and a half and it's just not. So I'm sorry for anybody out there who likes it. It's just my own thing. Like I just don't. I just don't really enjoy it. I would rather watch like YouTube or something like that. So um, yeah, I fell asleep during it, if that tells you anything. Um, and now I'm feeling like overly tired. And I know it's because I was drinking last night and probably didn't get the best sleep and then woke up this morning at 7.15 to get myself ready for a shoot today. So I normally would like just slug around and sit in it but I think instead I'm gonna put on a workout set and just have my socks on and do this quick little circuit that I did um at the gym the other day because I've been seeing a lot of workouts on my in not on my Instagram on my Pinterest and I didn't really explore having any workout stuff on my Pinterest it's mainly just for fashion which it still is but I found two different like circuit workouts and they're basically just like four exercises each and you do each thing three times and I was so sore the next day it was crazy so I'm gonna do either the same combination of ones that I did the other day or I'm gonna try out new ones because I have like seven or eight of them saved so we're gonna do a workout we're gonna get out of the rut and hopefully then I will have some energy so that I can edit some vlogs because I just feel a little bit like glazed over if that makes sense like I feel like my brain's not really working and I think being a little bit active and moving my body will definitely help It is much, much later, you guys, and I've just been chilling. I watched the Sebastian Maniscalco comedy on Netflix and got some work done for my little side hustle, so that was great. And now I am going to do a little get unready with me because I've done my um, skincare routine or my nighttime skincare with you guys in the past, I feel like, but... Number one, I feel like that was a long time ago, and I've also never done like a full get unready with me. So I figured we could do that together. I'm going to start by removing my makeup with the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. This is one of my all-time favorite products. This was something that I wanted to try so, so bad, and it was actually something that lived up to the hype because I know... I mean, I'm sure you guys have had this experience at one point that everyone's raving about a product and then you actually go to use it and you're like, this isn't even good. So that definitely was not the case with this. I love this stuff. I basically put it all over my face. I know some people like to only do it on their eyes, but I don't know what has gotten all over my face all day. So I figure we just lather it on all over and get everything squeaky clean. Okay, so then I am just gonna dab my face dry, but there's literally not even a lick of mascara left over on my face, which is perfect. And today is a rest night in my exfoliate retinol rest rest cycle. So we're just gonna do a little hydrating serum and then moisturizers. So the one that I'm gonna use is, 
What is this one? Hyaluronic acid, or do I wanna use? Yeah, we'll do the hyaluronic acid. I normally do vitamin C in the morning, so we will just do a little bit of this guy. This one is from La Roche-Posay. I actually really like the texture and the smell of this one. I don't even know what makes it smell good, but kind of just roll with it. So while that kind of settles in and dries up because you wanna make sure each of your layers of skincare dries before you apply the next one, which is something that I did not ever do in the past, which is kind of sad. Um, I'm gonna brush my teeth. <laughs> Super exciting stuff. You guys, I need to show you my, so we have a little shelf that has holes in it for your toothbrush to go into, but my bristles are too narrow, so it falls through. And when I was in Vermont, I went to the Vermont country store and found this little toothbrush holder. <laughs> So I stick it through the hole and then the bunny rabbit kind of like holds on to it for me. So yeah, I'm a child, but it's fine. I'm also a child, but an old person because I also have to use sensitive toothpaste because I have very sensitive teeth. All right, teeth are brushed and this serum is pretty much dry on my face. So the newest moisturizer that I have in my back stock is the Dr. Dennis Gross. It's vitamin C and lactic acid. So I guess it works out that I didn't end up using my vitamin C because it is in the moisturizer. This also smells like, this smells like it doesn't have fragrance in it, but I think the vitamin C makes it smell kind of like citrusy. Same thing with my CEO Glow um, serum. It kind of has a citrusy scent to it. I'm just guessing because it's vitamin C, but it could also be fragrance. We have no idea. Okay, I gotta take it down the neck. And then the last thing that I'll use on my face is the La Roche-Posay eye cream. Cannot neglect the eye cream. I went to get a facial like, it's probably like a year ago at this point. And she told me that since I was 26 that I need to use eye cream every single day. And now I'm 27, so we definitely need to be using this every day. I just love how the texture of eye cream is also like so much more spreadable than other like regular moisturizer. And it's probably because the skin around your eyes is very, very delicate. And that is it for my nighttime get unready with me. The last thing that I'm gonna do is put on my little, um, I haven't done this in a while, but this is my Colgate Optic White Pen. This is like the only product, the Colgate products that can whiten my teeth without bothering them because I do have sensitive teeth. So I love these and my teeth are probably getting a little bit yellow because of the amount of coffee that I consume <laughs> nowadays. So I'm going to start using this every night for the next couple weeks just to get back up to my normal whiteness, if that makes sense. So we'll do this, pop in my retainers, and then I will be off to bed. I think I'm going to read a little bit tonight because... I haven't in like the past five days and we have the goal of reading 10 books this year. So I need to get back on that. But that will be the end of this vlog. I'm going to start another one tomorrow because I have the day off, which is so exciting. And then we'll probably carry that one into Tuesday because I have some exciting packages coming that I cannot wait to show you guys. I'm like so excited. I can't stand it. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you're not subscribed already, then make sure you do that. I love you all and I will see you in my next video.